Hello, I'm Nicky. And I'm going to help him secure his New Year's resolutions. In the last video, I made a New Year's resolution to like avocado, or at least eat more of it. Which is a push, because he's never eaten it, have you? Like, if it's part of something, I'll eat it, but I've never solely eaten oh. avocado. That's what people say, oh, I'll eat peas if it's part of a pie, or I'll eat broccoli if it's hidden. I've never heard anyone say those things. What? I'll eat, I'll eat potatoes if they're mashed. Wait. Anyway, so what we're going to do is make three recipes, and yeah. I'm going to eat all of them. Not all of all of them. I'm going to eat bits of each You're going to try each one. I'm going to react to some avocado dishes. This is a taste test, and it's with the recipes that some of you guys sent in on Twitter and Tumblr. Basically, there's a massive discussion in the comments about what your favourite avocado recipes were. So let us know if we've actually done them justice. We probably haven't. Best ever chunky guacamole, blah, 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 ten minutes. Easy. <sighs> It says easy, so if you bodge this. Mission, 10 minutes, why can't it be instant? Very ripe, but not bruised. The avocado. Not being an expert on these, I have no idea what a bruised avocado looks like. That's right. How'd you, oh, oh, I think you hit me with it. I'm not gonna hit you with it. You can. <laughs> One ripe tomato, large. Do you wanna pick this out in my mum's garden? One large lime. Um, tip number one, just not a tip, it's oh. a step, so I forget I said tip. Number one, use a large knife to pulverise the tomato to a pulp on a board. Oh, that is some good anger management. God, this is such a long recipe. Nikki has cut the tomato into bits and smashed it to absolute high heavens with a knife. Not really. Is that a saying? It says to DC, but like the little fuckers are everywhere. <laughs> Why is he doing that? I'm not an expert, but this is not normal. That, that's disgusting. What they said to use a whisk to mash it together, but that's just, I don't know if you've tried mashing something with a whisk. Come on, it's completely impossible. So just use a fork or a spoon, like I did. Yeah. Avocado makes my heart happy. Well, don't eat it, because I haven't eaten it yet. And what do you need for guacamole? What? Nachos. So we have some cool original flavours, because we didn't have any plain. I just like salivated so much I had to swallow. <laughs> I'm just confirming that the onions are good. Oh, come close to me, I can't get it. I'm one of those people that you have at a table that like uses their nacho as a shovel. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the next recipe on our list is chocolate avocado mousse, and this is something I have never heard of before. But it you sounds guys... absolutely disgusting, so. For this recipe, you will need avocado, obviously. obviously. Jinx uh, that to a padlock. 40 grams of cocoa powder. Uh, one quarter cup to one half a cup of milk of choice and some sweetener of choice. Apparently this is a really healthy recipe, so... I mean, if you class sweetener as healthy, then it's healthy. You don't really need to see this process, because uh, we're just adding it all to a blender. Peel the avocado. Blend. And the way to do this is to make sure all equipment is carefully placed and all the ingredients inside. You just fart. You've broken it. No, it's not possible, it's brand new. It's working. Okay, you know when you get those sweets in the Christmas jars and one turns out to be like strawberry or orange and you get that sense of disappointment? That is what this is going to leave Nikki with. Thanks for hamming it up. I mean, good luck, you're going to love it. It tastes like banana. It tastes like... Banana? Yeah, try it. Oh, well, it tastes disgusting. No, it doesn't taste disgusting, but it does taste like um, I want more. cheap advent calendar chocolate, but it's slightly clinical. I want more. It tastes like iron, doesn't it? You want, well, you keep going back for more, I... it can't be that bad. And the third recipe, Sammy, is baked and, wait, baked egg in avocado, which I think sounds disgusting. The only thing you need to see of this is my failure at cracking an egg into an avocado. Goody, can't wait. The... Oh my God. See? What is that? What is that? Go in. It's just like a crystallised egg inside an avocado. Yeah, but then so is eating dust. No, wait, what? I have this for breakfast quite a few mornings. It's, it's really nice. Man. I must explain why you're in like a bad mood most days. Because you put that in oh, your listen. body. Listen to the egg on top. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> why well, I didn't like it. It's so there's no point to that. That's just like combining something that tastes good by itself and something right, that shit. Try, try more of the baked avocado. No! Dry potato-y flavour. 
No. Yeah. If anything, it has a slightly nutty flavour. If anything, you're slightly nutty for liking it. In terms of conclusions, I'm going to say guacamole is still fantastic. Mole. As you can see, I am trying my best to educate Nikki in the ways of the avocado. Um, I'm quite happy with the fact that we managed to do the whole video and not sing that song. Guacamole. We know the song. Gua Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you around soon. Make sure you comment down below what of the three recipes was your favourite? And don't forget, if you comment something hilarious, it will probably be in next week's comment Wednesday. What are we going to call it? Wednesday. Comment, 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 comment. Bye. We'll see you soon. Ciao. Keep up your New Year's resolutions. Don't eat shit. Peace out, mother. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh. oh, it's my crack. So we've gone seven days. And in that time, we technically haven't seen you since last year. So, how you been?